right, this is a live Facebook broadcast, and I'm speaking to my uh, audience that will be seeing the P900 video. And I'll link this to the broadcast post later. Clearly, the sun is a lot closer than 93 million miles away. When the sun or the moon are low on the horizon, there's a very interesting appearance that the sun and the moon look like they're in the midst of the clouds. I have a lot of content that shows that. You can see it on my YouTube channel, Eternal Perspective. Mysterious Sunrise is a category for some that I call it, Mysterious Moonrise. Basically, water exposes the global eye. The truth exposes reality. The truth exposes the reality of the world that we live in. Like I mentioned earlier for the uh, broadcast, there was no dew on the car this morning, uh, which was very unusual. Uh, because of the, um, the dew point, I should say the... Um, the ambient air temperature and humidity were identical, so there was no, um, no condensation taking place. The water cycle of the world also exposes the reality of the world that we live in. The evaporation, condensation, precipitation, perspiration, respiration, transpiration, and precipitation in all the forms, rain, snow, sleet, hail, humidity, all of it. Water, when we use water, think about it. Flush a toilet, it goes down. Take a shower, it runs down. Wash your hands, it runs down. And the typical response for the deceived individual is to say, well, that's gravity. And I would say, well, that's the difference in density and mass. Show me water sticking to a spinning ball and tell me what that is. Well, that's science fiction. That only, only exists in the mind of the deceived and the deceivers who perpetrate that deception. We don't have real video footage of the Earth from space. They're lying. Do you really think there's a Tesla orbiting up there in space or on its way to Mars or whatever? That's all science fiction, folks. So is the moon landing. It's a hoax. You can go to my Facebook. Uh, this is a preemptive answer to all of the people that say they love Jesus yet believe we live on a globe and went to the moon. You can go to my photo album on Facebook and see many hundreds of biblical references to a non-moving earth and the sun and the moon give off their own light and the stars and move above the face of the earth. I've got hundreds of videos. I'm not going to waste my time individually answering people that want to believe what they want to believe. Second Thessalonians chapter 2 says perpetually to all of creation forever. They refuse to love the truth and so be saved. For this reason, God sends them a powerful delusion, that they'll believe the lie. The great news is the elect will not be deceived. They will be born of God's Spirit at some point in the human experience. We're all eternal beings having a temporary human experience. At some point in this human experience, the child of God will be born again. That is for sure. That is forever. That's great news. That's great news. For those of you who aren't on board yet with this and don't realize that we don't live on a globe, there aren't going to be people in hell because somebody told them about the true cosmology, the reality of the shape of the earth. It's not going to scare them away. It's impossible to love and believe the truth apart from divine intervention. 
I thought I was born again over 30 some years ago until I actually was on Reformation Day of 2014. Some celebrate Halloween or so when, a satanic Luciferian holiday. We used to give away tracts on that holiday. What God chose to do was give me his Holy Spirit, set me free from a life of addiction. So I'm not the liar, thief, drug addict. And I'm not just talking about illegal drugs or alcohol. I'm talking about pharmaceuticals. And I'm exposing the criminal conduct of the pharmaceutical slash medical community, the shadow government of the world, the Luciferian agenda, the satanic agenda that conscripts the world governments, the beast system, the world central bank that charges exorbitant unit, uh, usury and enslaves humanity in the biggest Ponzi scheme ever perpetrated on humanity. If you don't like the God of the Bible and what he's telling you you can or can't do in your bedroom, wait until you're going to have to uh, pledge allegiance to the, the beast and the results of walking away from that system. It's going to cost people their lives. This is going to cost me my life. I already died. As best I can tell, the theological and biblical reality is when I was born of God's Spirit, the me that I was died. It's gone, can't come back. I'm glad for that. Very, very grateful to be a child of God. So much so that I spend the energy that God moves so powerfully through me to share his word to the ends of the earth around the clock, exposing the reality, exposing the truth, the truth of the reality of uh, God who created this world and the need for the salvation that he would provide through Jesus, his plan of salvation, his living word. I've got a God's Word Bible.com playlist. It'll play for hundreds of hours. You can watch the beauty of creation, the people enjoying it, the tidal activity, the waves, and all that, and hear God's Word concurrently at the same time. I encourage people to seek the truth with all their heart, to live uh, in such a way that we hear, share, and of course, obey God's Word. It's the most important reality. How would I expect to know what God wants me to do about this job or that job or this this, uh, rea this uh, situation or that situation if I'm willfully disobedient and, and addiction characterizes my life. Addiction, lying, all of that. Stealing. Do I, would I, should I expect him to reveal the, the deep things of, of his word to me if I'm willfully disobedient? Think about it. doesn't make any sense. He's not going to do it as best I can tell. What does happen, though, and it happened to me, is he gave me his Holy Spirit, a love for the truth, new life in him. No matter how many of the actual conspiracies you're able to determine, unless you're born again, you're still going to end up in hell. Bummer. So, that's why I share the reality of this. It's not just about the shape of the earth. It's about the accuracy of the biblical account. There was a flood that covered the face of the earth to over the tops of all the mountains, however tall they were then. Right now, Mount Everest is reportedly 5.49 miles tall. That's a lot of water. Water doesn't stick to a spinning ball. It will fill its container. We do have a firmament, according to Scripture, that... Uh, covers the face of the earth over the top of us, separating the waters from above, up, uh, up above our clouds, there is a firmament. How high is it? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, high enough to separate a whole lot of water so we can live in this created world uh, that has a wonderful system that works so beautifully. Uh, the evaporation of water from our bodies, uh, from the plants, from the water that covers the face of the earth, and then the condensation that gives us rain and all the other forms of precipitation. Now, the flood that Noah prepared for, 
until then it hadn't rained and then uh, then God caused it to start raining after about a hundred years of Noah letting people know what was going on that they needed to repent right well it started to rain and God opened up the flood sealed the ark actually and then caused it to start raining and then uh, opened up the floodgates of heaven have you seen a floodgate I've got floodgates on my liked video playlist a featured video there uh, that uh, is of the three gorges dam in China the world's largest hydroelectric power plant okay you can see that a floodgate allows a lot of water to move fast lots of water and then a fountain we've seen fountains the fountains of the deep that are underneath the that are in the earth and allow water to come up uh, a lot of water can come up fast how long did it take for the water to cover over the tops of all the mountains I don't know I've heard reports of shark teeth in the desert how did they get there we've got evidence of a great flood you can research it if you don't agree with it don't waste your time trying to convince me how wrong you believe I am I don't tolerate bullies I, I never have in school I would stand up to them and the digital bullies that are sometimes sock puppets in the uh, social media I don't put up with that either okay so whether it's a chat bot that's an automated responder to a, a detractor on a post I just don't tolerate it I'll say I've got proof on my Facebook and YouTube channel you can explore it if you like to or just scroll on by however you can uh, you can actually give me a call and uh, I put my phone number out there on some of the videos and I'll do it right now for both my audience and my live recorded broadcast here we go you can call me anytime if you have uh, uh, encouragement you want to share with me or or correction whatever you like go right ahead call me private message me you can private message me that's the work around my friend limit this is a response to so many of the messages I get I tried to accept your friend request I couldn't because you're at your friend limit what I'll do is send p those people my photo album and my YouTube channel you can subscribe to my YouTube channel if you care to if you don't have a channel I would say it's a it's a tremendous opportunity to expose the truth to be able to like videos create playlists when I like a video it goes on my liked video playlist so I can just add it right there at the front of the list what I like to do with my photo album on Facebook is link uh, related videos to the photo and then of course my YouTube channel and photo album will be concurrently linked so that people can see that so the the person that said give me one Bible verse that says the earth's flat he believes we're living on a globe and uh, he wanted one verse that says it I sent him my photo album he said I don't want a Facebook link I don't want pictures I said they're in the pictures there's uh, one of the pictures uh, over 200 verses that talk about a non-moving earth and uh, in the the shape of the uh, gives detail on biblical references for a basically flat earth so I'm not going to take the time to uh, one, out of one side of my mouth say yeah I'm going to use social media to expose the truth and then spend an inordinate amount of time answering people that are are have a made-up mind they're proud they love what they believe evidently and uh, they can they can waste their their own uh, time or somebody else's if they choose to I'm going to be guarding my time because I don't want to waste it with uh, with that now people can explore my YouTube channel or Facebook videos and find the the truth there it's there you have to look for it but it's more important than looking for it and it isn't the amount of the evidence it's the uh, desire to know the truth about the situation 
So that's part of the dynamic there. We can subscribe to two or uh, two thousand channels on YouTube. When I drop in on a post like the ISS where it's a live feed and I say bubbles in space, the Earth is flat or something like that, or I just drop my phone number, that's another big one. I'll just drop my phone number on a comment. People are wondering what the heck's that. Go over to my website, over to my YouTube or Facebook, they'll get an idea of what it's about if they care to. It's also a searchable, retrievable uh, uh, type of uh, data. That's why I put it there. I want, pe I want to help set people free from enslavement like I was enslaved to. So we can subscribe to 100 YouTube channels a day. When I reach 2,000 and add another subscription, one falls off. They hold us at 2,000 subscriptions. That's just how that works. And there's also activity where somehow subscriptions fall off. I don't know how it works. It used to be that my uh, on selfie mode with YouTube, it would reverse it and have it be, it wouldn't look like a mirror like Facebook. So that was why I was heavier into a Facebook, I'm sorry, a YouTube broadcast. This particular broadcast that this video is going to be linked on is going to be less than four hours long. So I have the notification process that drives my Facebook activity and my social media presence. And then uh, the YouTube, there's a cross-pollination that, that I'm putting together there for that. Just so my live Facebook uh, broadcast knows this, I'm zooming in on the clam bed to show how it the water continually goes down. It'll be more detail and uh, breathtaking views of, of this whole experience. I can't move both cameras at once effectively and do it accurately with zooming in like this. <clears throat> so similar cloud density and uh, it just has the appearance that the the sun is very close proximity to the clouds how does it work I know there's debunking videos oh well I know there's flat earth debunkers that are deceived perpetuating their deception and there's unknowing participants like I was we homeschooled our children taught them that we lived on our sons taught them that we lived on a globe unaware that it was a lie unaware of the global lie and then within what where's the name of Christianity there's a lot of unbiblical theology that's being promoted just so you know, I'm not asking for money, I'm not fundraising, I don't have a 501c3 status, and I don't monetize my YouTube channel. If you see advertisements on my YouTube channel, it's not that I want them there, I'm not making any money from that. I put in a lot of hours every day to uh, produce and uh, manage the content that I have out there. And for some of you, I, I don't want you to think that you need to make live videos to, uh, to have a powerful impact on social media. When you like a video, it gets added to the liked video playlist. You just have to make the uh, parameters of your uh, content that, that people will be able to see it if you want them to see what you like. It's a powerful way to convey a lot of uh, information, a lot of truth, exposing the reality of so much of what's going on, the activity, exposing the deeds of darkness, and proclaiming the truth. The truth of God's word to the ends of the earth around the clock. 
Bible.com and Bible.is are God's Word in well over a thousand languages. If it's translated into a language, it's very likely that people have the technology to access it. That's part of how that works. It takes less than a day to hear the entire New Testament and less than uh, 77 hours to hear the entire Bible. I've done both thousand, well, I, I should say I've listened to the entire New Testament thousands of times. So I can listen to it as I do life or meditate on it, even if the technology or the power to um, access it is gone. I've hidden God's word in my heart that I might not sin against him. By his power, by his grace. That's what this is. It's not look at me, it's look at look at him, look at what he did to me, and and I'm I'm uh, just very grateful and want that to happen for more people. Now I can't see him from here, but that's a, the backup beeper of the uh, liquid money, the uh, uh, Set, uh, the portable bathroom service company. Yeah. There he goes. I'm zoomed in on him. Right there, he's in the view. You'll see him on the YouTube video. Nice stainless truck. It's uh, toilet water seeking its level. This one has a little help. Portable plastic receptacles that people can relieve themselves in and then it's transported in a diesel-powered stainless uh, containing system that's going to be um, purified, or I should say processed, in Myrtle Beach. They'll process it in Myrtle Beach. It'll make its way back out to the ocean after the solids have been mostly removed. Chemicals are added to kill bacteria, and then it's released into the ocean where the action of the the waves and the salt brine are going to further the process of purifying the environment. And then in the process of the water treatment plants, uh, we've got water towers all dotting the horizon. I'll zoom in on a few of them here. And then the, as somebody turns on a spigot to wash a car, take a shower, uh, wash your hands, all that, water the lawn, flush the toilet, then that water is going to be treated as well. So reality exposes the truth, the truth exposes the reality. Ultimately, God's word is true. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, the embodiment of truth. And then what, what happens is, uh, he gives his children a love for the truth. So we're able to prioritize on what's the most important. He also helps me let go of what I can't change. He gives me the power to obey. Something I was lacking before. So all of my life was a sin before I was born again. It's humanly impossible to obey Scripture biblically because the Holy Spirit needs to take up residence to accomplish what is humanly impossible to do. This area that we're looking at is a sea-level liquid mirror, and it's a beautiful showcase of creation just a quarter of a mile or so from the ocean. The tide has been going out since a little after 4 a.m. We have a diurnal tidal activity here. The tide rises and falls twice a day. In Myrtle Beach this year, we're anticipating 20 million guests. We're about halfway through the season right now. That's a lot of water usage, a lot of, um, a, a lot of public service that needs to be provided. So there's taxation of the purchasing that goes to facilitating 
the management of all the human activity that's here public safety and uh, lifeguard rescue and all of that type of thing. The sun moves like a laser beam across the surface of the water. Uh, on my videos you can see where there's curvature or shape on the sand. It'll interrupt the light beam of the sun and also there's the trajectory of the light source. The sun is approaching us at this vantage point and then as it does that it appears higher. It has to do with the laws of perspective. A quick example of that is telephone poles look further or look um, shorter as they get further from where we are when in fact they're about the same height. Real practical observable reality that you can see for yourself in your every day-to-day -day life. Our interaction with water exposes the reality and the impossibility of it sticking to a spinning, wobbling, gyrating globe that exists in the mind of the deceived and the deceivers. I don't care how many credentials a person has, how many letters around their name, digits in their bank account, cars in their bling in their driveway, doesn't matter. If they believe we're on a globe, they're deceived. If they understand the globe and they, that that's a lie and they believe Jesus is a fairy tale, they're still deceived. A person needs to be born of God's Spirit uh, to go to heaven. All God's children will be. That's great news. That's the best news. My encouragement to everybody is to hear, share, and of course, obey God's Word. Bible.is, Bible.com, and YouTube, Eternal Perspective. Feel free to give me a call anytime you like. This is Robert Forsh from North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Thank you so much for your public and private encouragement. Thank you for sharing.